Okay, office hours for dynamics. And in this problem, let's see, do you have a specific question about it or you want, you want me to just like kind of yeah, go yeah. review the whole thing? Okay, so I'm given in this problem, a rocket is fired from rest at, so given at, uh, at x equals zero uh, from, it's fired from rest. and travels along a parabolic trajectory y squared equal to 120 times 10 to the cubed x. So it gives me a, and this is in units of meters, it gives me a path. You know, like I could plot this and it would be some sort of func parabolic function and yeah, okay. and. Uh, and I know the x component of acceleration, ax, is equal to one fourth t squared in units of meters per second squared, where t is in seconds. And I want to determine the magnitude of the rocket's velocity. So find, find, um, V, the magnitude of the rocket, and acceleration, and acceleration at t equals 10 seconds. Okay? Fair? Okay. All right. All right. So, so the idea, this is curvilinear motion using rectilinear components. So it's essentially taking, and this is 2D. So we're taking a 2D problem and breaking it up into two 1D problems. All right, great, okay. So uh, let's look at, let's say we wanna look at, which direction do you wanna look at first, the X or the Y direction? Um, the X direction? The X direction, and that's the logical choice because AX is 1 4th T squared. All right, great. So here, let's look at X motion, right here, and and I have, in this case, I have the acceleration as a function of time. Ax is 1 fourth t squared, okay? Meter per second squared. That means, I mean, can I find the x component of acceleration at 10 seconds? How? Just plug in the value of 10. Right, it's too easy. Just plug in the value of 10 and I would have the acceleration at 10 seconds, so Ax, at 10 seconds would be um, 1 fourth times 100, which is, uh, is that 25? Yes. 25 meters per second squared, okay? So that's, that's, no, that's no big deal, okay? Now I have to find the velocity as a function of, I, can, can I, I wanna find the velocity as a function of time, yeah, in the x direction, so how would I do that? You would do the integral? Dude, you got it. All right, so here, this would just be, I would say dv, the definition of the acceleration would be dvx dt is 1 fourth t squared uh, in units of meters per second squared, but you know, anyway, we'll, we'll let it go here that the 1 fourth doesn't have units and stuff. But here, we'll have, uh, and then I just, you know, I have the definition of acceleration. I would have dvx equals 1 fourth t squared dt right here and I would set up my integral, okay? Like this, right, so I group variables, I set up my integral, and let's see, I need bounds of my integral, and so, let's see, where does it start from? Um, zero, for the um, uh, time, for time it'll start at zero, Okay. and we can just set it to t. Okay, to set to t, right, as a function of time, yes, good. And for acceleration. Or for velocity. Or velocity. Yep. Um, it starts at rest, so it would also be at zero. Yes, so zero, and then we would have Vx right here. Yes, okay. And then, um, and then if I, if I integrate, you know, it's like integrating one, which is a no-brainer. So this would just give me Vx is uh, 1 12th t cubed, right, from zero to t. So that's just 1 12th t cubed, right? And so my velocity in the x direction is 
I don't know, 1,000 divided, you know, I plug in oh, velocity at x at 10 seconds would just be 1,000 divided by 12, which should be in units of meters per second. And I'm sure that's probably better written as a decimal. Whatever 1,000 divided by 12 is, do I have a calculator? Would either of you like a C's chocolate? Sure. Uh, no, thank you. No? Where did I put it? Where did I put my C's chocolate box? I got it as a gift. There we go. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. I don't know what's inside. I don't either. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> All right. You know, life is like a box of chocolates. <laughs> you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> All right. Oh, where did I put my calculator? Let's see here. Oh, what'd you get? 1,000 divided by 12. I got 83.3. 83. 83.3, like 333 maybe, mm -hmm. meters per second. So we'll just leave it like that. All right, great. So we have acceleration velocity. Now, um, man, uh, let's see. So, you know, we what we really what we want to do is we want to get information for the y, right? Mm -hmm. And if I have, if I look at this, if I can get x as a function of time, the mm -hmm. position as a function of time, then I will have y as a function of time. And then I can just take derivatives from there and get all the y information. Does that? I think so. Yeah? So if, if like, for instance, if I gave you y equals like t to the fourth, the square mm -hmm. root of t to the fifth or whatever or something, you know how to take, if I gave you that, you would know how to take derivatives and mm -hmm. get velocity and acceleration. Okay. So here, let's go ahead and get position as a function of time. And I'll use, it's for x. So like here I have vx equals... 1 12th t cubed. And so the definition of the velocity would be like dx dt equals 1 12th t cubed, right? And then I just set up the integral here, which would be dx here, 1 12th t cubed dt. And, and now I just have to define some bounds, right? Which would be from it would be from zero to um, x for the first part, and it would mm -hmm. also be from zero to t. T. All right, and that'll let us find you know the position, the x position for any time t. This will be x is equal to um, one over forty-eight t to the fourth. Evaluate from zero to t. Evaluate from zero to x, which is really just is trivial. Okay. And, and that gives me x as a function of time. Shoot, I hope I'm doing this right. You know what's terrible is like making a video and then going back and finding a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I get all the haters on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> you messed up, you suck. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, so that's my x as a function of time, right? Mm -hmm. And now I can look at the y motion. So two y motion, y direction motion, y motion right here. And, and I have, inform, you know, I, I know that there's a relationship. Uh, y squared equals 120 times 10 cubed, 120 times 10 cubed x. What is that, x? Oh, that's it. 120 times 10 cubed x. And this will come out in units of meters. And so if I just substitute for time, I get that y squared is 120 times 10 cubed over 48 t to the fourth. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. All right. And then, and then if I have, you know, if I take the square root of both sides, it would just be y is equal to the square root of what's well, 120,000 divided by 48. 2500. So it'd be 2500 t to the fourth, and I just want to take the square root of that. And I think that just gives me how convenient 50 t squared. Is that right? That's so convenient. Okay.
And then I can find the velocity at y, which, shoot, the velocity of y would be the time derivative, which would be, uh, gosh, you know, dy dt, which just gives me 100t, and that should be in units of meters per second. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the acceleration, what do I do for acceleration? You do the derivative of that. Yeah, it's too, it's too easy. So dvy dt, which would give me 100 and the units are meters per second squared. And, mm -hmm. and now I have to go back and answer the question. Uh, mm -hmm. What is my y, so at least, I, what is my y component of velocity at 10 seconds? So for velocity y, that would be? It'd be like 1,000. 5,000, or are you talking about? Oh, the, just the y component, not, yeah. or did you do like the square root of some squares, or no? Oh, I just plugged in uh, 10 for y. Oh, that would be the or, position. I was like, I plugged in, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that yeah. would be the position. So the vy would be. Um, a thousand. A thousand, yeah. 1,000 meters per second. And then ay is, is constant. So it's always just 100 meters per second squared. And now I can calculate magnitudes. Or magnitudes and and it's just the magnitude of a vector which is um, you would do the x value and the y values x value squared plus y value squared square square root root of the square root of some squares good mm -hmm. good good so here let's see v is the square root of vx squared plus vy squared and and then the acceleration would be the square root of ax squared plus ay squared. And if you get numbers, let me know. Let me see. Uh, 25 plus 100 squared. I'll do the acceleration. 25 squared plus 100 squared square root. per second squared for acceleration. How about for velocity? I got 1,003.5. Okay, 1,000 squared. And you got 1,003.5 <coughs> meters per second. All right, so hopefully those are right. But that's, and then our these are our answers for the velocity and the acceleration magnitudes. If you wanted to challenge yourself, you could always like try to find draw the vector and determine the angle. You have enough information to do that in this problem as well. So, all right.